Hello and welcome to The Walking Dead, a new frontier, or season three, uh, depending on which way you want to look at it. So for those of you who are old time viewers of The Walking Dead on the channel, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, I am shitting myself because I don't want to see. I don't I don't want to know. I don't want to know what's happening to Clem, but I really do. So before we start the game, I'm going to very briefly mention the save file system, just because I know some of you will be playing along at some point and will be going, well, how do I import my season one and two Clem? So what you want to do is you want to go onto your Telltale account on their website, which if you haven't done, just make an account. It's really easy. And you sync your save. It does mean you need to have Walking Dead Season 2 installed to do it, but once you've done that, it's really goddamn quick. It goes onto the cloud, you can then link your account with Season 3 slash New Frontier, and it will pull it down. You just need to make sure you have it enabled here, and then it should pop it into the first save slot. If you don't have your save for whatever reason, don't panic. There is a story generator that will ask you a series of questions that should help you get back to the Clem that you had. You can also, uh, because this game is designed for new players to Walking Dead as well as old players, you can just start with a default clam. So it should be reasonably easy for you to pick this up if you've never played the Walking Dead games before. I don't, don't, <laughs> just don't, all right? I don't, I don't, don't tell me, don't tell me, please. So this is the new main character that's gonna like co-star with Clem. It's called Javier, or Javi. I guess this is when the zombie walker apocalypse goes down. David, it's David, hey. Hey, David, I had to leave my car. It's traffic, it's just backed up for miles. He's dead. Oh fuck, you're too late. No. No, I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed hey. to be here. Uh, I tried to get here? I tried. Please, I tried. Oh, you tried. You fucking tried? Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work. Everyone's here. They've been here for days. And where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? Uh. You don't think we all had to make sacrifices? He was my dad, too! All right? I mean, you're not... You're not the only one dealing with this! And what a fine son you turned out to be. Oh, dear. Uncle Javi? Oh. Oh, dear. Why, why are you fighting? I, I can hear you from inside. Uh... What's going on? Sure. Just... A misunderstanding between your uncle and me. Gabe. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Fucking Gabe! Go on. It's okay. Inside. Give another few years and he'll make Half-Life. Gabe button. <clears throat> Take his hand. Come on. <sighs> I should call someone. Pick up the body. Oh shit. Yeah. What's the timeline on this, by the way? Like, if he's dead, is he gonna turn and kill everyone in the house? I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. 
I know. God, this is some some flavor, isn't it? Some backgrounds. You think I was jealous of you? N no, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. Oh, uh... I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I mean, we don't know the situation. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count on, on it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Oh, dear. What have you done? Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? I... I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Come on. Oh, do you mean the, the, the face thing? Yeah. Well, I don't blame him, to be fair. I was late. And... Morning... Does funny things. But what, where have we been? What have we been doing? Are we just like a miscreant? Are we a drug dealer? What, why are we not there? I guess we'll find out, but. Mama. Oh, where were you? Uh, late. I tried. I tried, I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, Mama. Not if he turns and eats us. Not long. Uncle Hector's taking care of it. What are the plans for the funeral? David made arrangements with your father before he passed. This is the perfect time, though, isn't it? For a. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. Oh, shit, yeah. No, no, the timeline. Oh, this is so bad. The kids in the same house. The police. That's why there was all the sirens. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. Uh, that's because he's... Oh, God. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Oh, fuck, yeah. Thought so. He's not sleeping anymore, Granny. He's alive again. Oh, shit. Don't... Don't fucking send her in there on her own. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, shit me. Yeah, no, he's there. I... I... He's not, yeah, yeah, get the kid away. That's it. Careful. Oh, he's totally gonna get bit. Rafa, how is this possible? He's gonna bite you. Oh, shit, yep. Maybe not. I was about to say the slaughter's going to begin, but maybe they handle it. Papa, papa, cálmate. Soy yo, David. Estás en tu casa, cálmate. ¿Qué está haciendo? Él está loco. Él atacó a Héctor. Solamente está confundido. No, 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 no. It's not confused. Don't, don't. Oh my God. Oh no. I can't. I can't look. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh shit me. Oh no, he's out. I'm sorry, Papa. Whew. Jesus Christ. We need to go. We need to get her to the hospital. Well, let me look at it. Let me look at it. Good luck. Gabriel, where's your sister? Oh no. Keys! Where the fuck are the 
keys. Take Dad's car. <laughs> keys are on the dash. Oh, oh dear. Well, we're going to drive her to the hospital, discover we can't drive her to the hospital. She's going to turn. We're all going to die. Excellent. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. Oh, God. You're going in a separate car, and I've got the kids. I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I don't know. Mariana, from the stars. Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, honey. We have to go. Come on. No, no. You kind of have to. No! No! It's no! Okay. It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm guessing this is where the family splits up, and this is the group that we're left with. Um, did you get... Oh, shit. You got bit. Great. Well, fuck. Yeah, just just hide it, mate. Yeah, that'll, that'll fix the whole thing. Oh, my God. There's... Oh, they're a bit... Oh, they're loading in. I think we're all right. Present day. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. So she's still alive. Uh, I've never seen so many. Man, I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. It's a herd, of course it is. Damn it, what? I left my water bottle. Herd just got there. Rip. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. So you've still got the kids. So it's you two and two kids, and I'm guessing what's his chops died very quickly. Because we're, what, 200 days in? No, 400 days. We're, like, over 400 days in because of the DLC. So we're probably... The Wikipedia's got a timeline, but we're probably, like, 700 days in. It looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. That's a fair point. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. Yep. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. Mm. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. You've done pretty well to keep going this far. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. What? Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. Fucking druggies. Want me to roll? You're driving! I'm not right, rolling just, shit for you. You know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. Also, it's not like it's heroin or crack cocaine, is it? Come on now. It's a cheeky smoke. In the zombie awesome. apocalypse. Uh... Uh, what? Well, I'm driving. Uh, oh, sh fuck it. The apocalypse is here. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'm a vagrant. <coughs> I'm a rebel to the cause. What can I say? We are setting an awesome example. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed... <laughs> I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. Oh. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just won't leave him by the side of the road. He's a teenager. <laughs> I'm joking. 
<laughs> Jesus. Obviously. It's just a phase. It probably is, right? Gabe's been emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. <sighs> emotional? <laughs> Afraid. That's cute. It's fine. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. Uh, also, <sighs> apocalypse. <laughs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. Are you... Uh... <laughs> I realize that was an awkward transition. No, Sorry no, no, no. Not with the ex-wife. Come on, Kate. You know we can't do that. Who said I meant with you? Not with, not with, like, the wife-in-law. Hmm. What's that smell? That's gross. Nothing. Uh. Hey, Mariana. Shouldn't you be, uh, sleeping? That's not quite what I meant. I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Ugh. Oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? All right. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. Are you kidding? We're about to make a supply stop. We'll see how it plays out with the kids. I could see it being like Carl had a rough patch in Walking Dead as well, where he just... It was stroppy and it's it's kind of a mixed bag of puberty plus apocalypse we'll see we'll see how it plays out i'd ideally not like to have to choose between children dying and things but it's the walking dead what can i do i mean like, personally, guys, I wouldn't have had a smoke before going into a creepy fucking abandoned salvage yard, but... Or driving. I mean... It's not it's not really the place that lends itself to doing any sort of drugs. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> right, okay. So... What... Oh, she's praying. Okay. Just... You want a moment alone, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar? Need, Mariana. Not want. Uh... Really need a candy bar. Pretty <laughs> much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Mm. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Uh, someone's had a go with a crowbar. They've not done very well, though. Oh, God, I have to do things. Okay. I like this family, though. They seem on board, you know. They kind of know what they want from things. They want to pull up in different places and get stuff. They seem organized. The fact they've lived this long kind of demonstrates that. Hey, where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. Well, yeah. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Doesn't matter what it's about. Hey, I know that's what families do. They fight, they make up, and they fight all over again. Yep. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but... <laughs> The batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Oh, that is sneaky. <laughs> you, you sneaky little... <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. There you go, guys. Four years. Oh, and Mari... If there's any trouble, you'd find one of these cars. 
Yeah? Getting it. Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Mm. Okay. Good girl. 